Hey, what's up guys? It's Boost HD here and today I'm going to be showing you an alternative to iTunes and it is called iTools. So the very first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go straight to our internet browser. I'm then going to type in CNET iTools and click enter. And I'm going to go to the very first link that's called iTools free downloading software. And then what you want to go ahead and do is download this uh, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And once you've installed it, since I've already installed it, I'm just going to go straight to the program itself. Uh, so you'll get an icon looking like this. So I've got it down on my uh, taskbar right down here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, it looks similar to the layout of iTunes. But as you know, some of the problems that occur when using iTunes that you can't sync uh, your iOS device to more than one uh, iTunes on any one installed computer. So this software that I'm using now pretty much uh, eliminates that rule. So you can use it multiple times on any systems that are running iTools. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sync the device to iTools. As you can see it's connecting. And as usual the normal iTunes will appear first. And as you can see Adam's iPad has appeared uh, in the iTools uh, uh, cross media bar. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this because as usual iTunes will uh, naturally open. So as you can see it's pretty much laid out similar to iTunes but just a bit more user friendly I personally think anyway. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go to media. And uh, these are just a few examples of songs that I've put onto the actual iPod itself. They're completely random out of my um, music playlist. Um, I've pretty much wiped the iPod clean and then I've pretty much installed the songs back on uh, just so I could check that this actual software is com it works 100% without any problems. And I have tried it before and I can say it definitely does work. So I'm going to go ahead and sync a song. So I'm just going to choose any random song. So I'm going to go to music and I'm just going to drag here this, what, this song uh, called Mind the Trap. I'm just going to simply just drag it on there, minimize this, and there you go. It'll simply just copy to the device. And then, as you can see, if I just go ahead and switch to my iPod, so if we take a look at the iPod screen and scroll down, we can see here track 5, uh, which is called Mind the Trap. For some reason, it didn't come up with the actual title name, it's come up with track 5, as you can see on there. So the song is actually called Mind the Trap, but it's composed track 5. But as you can see, it comes straight on the device without any problems. And if we go ahead and play that, as you can see, it plays without any problems. So, anyway, guys, from Boost HD here, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.